All right. Monday, Monday. We haven't done this in a little while. Sorry if there's some noise going on back here, but uh, I got this new trailer, this new truck, new company. And it's making some noise back there. I don't know what the hell is going on. And they're, uh, I backed into, I get, it's called a dock. I think it's called a dock. Yeah, I'm backed into a dock door. And uh, they're back there shaking me around, doing something in there. Who knows, man? I don't know what's going on in there. And it kind of drives me crazy drives me nuts a little bit I don't know what's going on I can't see anything going on in there but uh come on it's that time guys you know what time it is they're shaking me back there weird stuff going on here man on this chili box stuff I don't get it yet but uh come on guys you know what time it is right Monday Monday wakey wakey hands off snakey there we go. Come on. I haven't done this in a while for you. Time to get up. Put your feet on the ground. Put your pants on. Put your boots on. Get to work, boys and girls. Time to get out and make that money. That's what we're doing this for. Get out and make that damn money. Do your thing this week. Oh, see now that the noise stopped back there. What the hell? What the hell's going on, man? Shit. <laughs> But uh, I went and checked in, and uh, they said there was some lumber. There's a there's a charge. There's a lumber charge. I don't know uh, what they're talking about lumber. I had a meat load. I got meat on in the back there. And they said I need to pay for the lumber. Uh, apparently, maybe the pallets. I don't know. They break down the pallets or some shit. I don't know what the hell's going on with the lumber, but. I had to call and uh, they said I need to call the company and get something called a comm check. Not sure. I, I don't know, man. So I called and, and uh, asked all about this comm check and they acted like I was stupid, man. They didn't know what I was talking about. I said I need a comm check to pay for the lumber. And they're trying to figure out what the hell the lumber was. I don't know. So they gave me uh, 200 bucks. Uh, I got to fill out this comm check now. And uh, pay for this damn lumber service, whatever lumber is in there. I don't know. Maybe, maybe you guys know what this is all about of of paying for lumber uh, and a, and a shipper or receiver. I don't know, man. But uh, I don't know. I'm up. It's early as hell. They called me at 3:30 this morning. And had to get up and work and open the doors, all that sort of shit. So. <laughs> I'm kidding with you guys. I'm kidding with you guys. Come on. Ain't no thing. Get up. Do your thing this week. Freight's starting to pick up real good. We're starting to get real busy. So it's that time. Time to stack your money. I'm sure everybody's bank account was uh, getting hit over the winter, over the holidays, all that stuff. I know all my flatbed brothers were kind of kind of hurting a little bit through winter. This was a rough one. But uh, it's coming back. And it's all up to you to make it happen, guys. So be the professional out here. Set the example. And uh, let's try to do good things this week. Let's try to do good things every week. That's what we're about. That's what uh, that's what we need to get back into is helping each other out out here. Uh, last week, I don't know, it's just every week out here, every day out here, see stupid shit truck drivers doing stupid shit and being assholes to each other you know for for no reason at all for absolutely no reason um that shit's got to change man and it starts with us starts with you starts with me um i'm always willing to help somebody out if somebody asks me a question hell y'all know that my inbox is always open hey rob i got a question oh go ahead shoot man what's on your mind let's get into doing that more you know instead of throwing around this word rookie oh you're just a rookie just a stupid rookie well uh let's uh, let's help them you know um we were all rookies and actually the way trucking is changing constantly we're all rookies we're still rookies we're all uh, i don't care how long you've been driving you know everybody throws around oh i've been out here 30 years or been out here eight years five years six years whatever and 
truth of the matter is, is we're all, the way I look at it is, is I've only got one year experience, uh, 10 times, right? <laughs> so we're all rookies. We're all one year drivers out here because the way everything's changing, um, hell, e-logs are right around the corner, right? So, I mean, that's going to be a whole nother, a whole nother game. Everybody that's on paper logs, I know there's going to be some exceptions and all that sort of shit, but for the most part, oh man, that's good. For the most part, everybody's going to be going on e-logs. So either you're going to have to adapt and overcome and change your game or uh, hang it up. I don't really know what to tell you. You know, that's a kind of a heated argument, a heated conversation there about e-logs. So it's coming though. I mean, it's coming. Right now, there's nothing standing in its way. It's coming. Uh, we're just going to have to deal with it. That That's trucking. Deal with it, right? <laughs> that might be one of those things of, that's trucking, guys. Just deal with it. You know, what are you going to do? What the hell are you going to do about it? Quit? Are you going to quit because you got to go on e-log? Really? I'm hearing that a lot. Oh, I'm going to hang up my keys. I'm done. Really? You're going to quit trucking. You're going to quit doing something that you love. Uh, just because of a damn e-log, you know. Uh, I've been on e-log for a little while. Uh, shoot, for the past five years. Six, uh, yeah, give or take, about five, four or five years been on e-log. Ain't that bad. You know, yeah, there's some, some things you can't do. You can't run outlaw. Golly. <laughs> there you can't run outlaw and all that sort of stuff. But, you know, that shit ain't no good for you anyway. Make you tired make you tired running outlaw running 20 hour shifts you know and stress full of stress running four or five hours over your log book or running two three log books you know uh shoot back in the day when i first started my trainer he was old school man he'd been driving for 40 years and uh oh at the smx man smithway motor express they gone now they got bought out by western express but this was how trucking was not too long ago shoot back in uh just 06 I was uh well i went to school in 05 got my cdl in 06 started driving in 06 and uh he taught me old school he, he taught me old school man he taught me how to run two damn log books you know it wasn't company training that was just his personal training to me he taught me how to how to float two log books so you know those days are over those days are over nowadays the trainers all the trainers out here uh they're doing good to be able to teach you how to run an e-log much less a paper log and even more much less of two and three logs you know so trucking is changing guys that's that's the point i'm getting at here is, is trucking is changing and uh we got to get get used to it man that that is trucking deal with it um maybe maybe a miracle will happen and it'll get overturned in court who knows um I don't know you know it's just one of those things but all we can worry about is what's going on today and what's going on this week let's go trucking guys let's go trailer trucking wakey wakey hands off snakey that's all i got for you today get the hell up get to work help your brothers and sisters out here be the professional set the example let's make trucking great again all right i'll talk to you later